my name is Michael Voigt. Uh, I enlisted in the United States Army back in, I think it's September 15, 1967, if I remember correctly. I was, um, I obtained the rank of uh, E4, a Spec 4, and uh, my job in the service was, uh, uh, my MOS was 67 and 20. Uh, that's my, uh, the, uh, the specialty uh, that I focused on, which is uh, single rotor, let's see, how does it go? Single rotor engine turbine helicopter repair <laughs> mechanic. What, <laughs> it's a mouthful. Uh, my basic training was in uh, Fort Bliss, Texas. It was hot and uh, desert. I mean, you're talking sand desert. And we had to crawl through the sand in the heat with uh, backpacks on and with your uh, M14, it's your rifle, and uh, we were, it was pretty warm. Uh, noted. I tell you what, what I really miss in the service is, is the camaraderie that I had. I had some really good friends. I consider them brothers, and it didn't matter if they're black, white, or Hispanic. It doesn't. I, I got them from all over, over the world. Chinese. Uh, had a really good, good relationship with a lot of fellas. A, a real, a, like a, a brotherhood. That's what it is, and that's what I really. That's what I miss. Okay, I was. Uh, my first tour was in uh, Benoit, which is uh, uh, actually uh, it was a gigantic Air Force base there, and uh, we got hit pretty hard there during the Tet Offensive, and uh, I arrived at just be, after the Tet Offensive occurred. And uh, I'm glad I, I did because the barracks next to mine, or the hooch next to mine, got a direct hit. And uh, <laughs> luckily nobody got hurt. They all were, were out of missions. So uh, there was uh, I, I, an eye opener. And the power these, these rockets have and uh, the force, it's, it's tremendous. That's why I get so, uh, that's why I have that shell shock or post-traumatic stress disorder because I, I can't stand loud noises. Uh, that humans are animals in, in the, the very basic sense sometimes. They're worse than animals. Uh, I'm, I'm amazed what they can do to other human beings. And that's what I learned about it. I'm getting a flashback. Yeah, a uh, little lonely. You know, there's no big welcome. Yeah. Just got to made it home in one piece. This, this is a bunch of lead, fancy lead right here. But I, th I think this is a, a good conduct medal right here. Uh, I never got in trouble in this service. I was a good old boy. This is my air medal. This is uh, because I flew so many combat missions. This is what you get awarded. You know, you have to participate in combat, aerial combat. And then this one is the uh, Vietnam uh, campaign medal. That's because I was, I guess, a participant in the campaign. <laughs> to me, it was a, a, some people say it was a police action, but it was a war, you know. And this is uh, our armed combination medal. It, it's just. For military merit, I don't know what that means. I, like I said, I never got in trouble. I did what I was told. I followed orders as long as they were moral. I never had any immoral orders. And this is, uh, what is this? Vietnam uh, Service Medal. And then here's the Bronze Star for, uh, I forgot, I don't know, I, I should, for mer merit, meritorious service. And that's we uh, rescued a helicopter out of the jungle in Cam Cambodia, which we weren't supposed to do, but uh, I volunteered. We got it done. Nobody got hurt. We all made it back. So what did you have to do for that, for that mission? Well, I, uh, I was uh, sitting behind a machine gun, and uh, I made sure that the troops on the ground, they, uh, the infantry, 
were covered, uh, that they wouldn't, uh, the snipers wouldn't pick them up. And uh, I, I, I know as, as far as I know, I didn't hurt anybody, kill anybody, because I shot way, way above the trees. I don't wanna, it's not my thing. I, I, killing wasn't my thing. So I, but I've seen it in other people. They, that's all I wanted to do is kill. And that's what amazed me is the, the demons that come out in humans. Uh, so that's, that's one thing that really bothered me. Well, thank you for your service. Well, you're most welcome. It was an honor. <laughs> well, if you look up 67 and 20 and do a little reading up on it, the life expectancy, once you got in the chop, it was 20 some seconds. That was it. You were easy targets, you know. Well, I, I was the only one in the whole company that had a white helmet. And I was threatened with Article 15, which means that demotion of rank, and of course, it affected the salary. And uh, the reason I wore a white helmet, uh, I had a Dutch wish. You know, and uh, I just wanted to get it over with quick, instead of getting shot through the back or through the, to the bottom, you know. But it was a little rough. Yeah. I still get flashbacks, you know, and especially what we as Americans did over there to the Asian people. The people don't know. Time Magazine wasn't there, Newsweek wasn't there, but people that actually did participate were there, and that's how I found out things, you know. That's how you get disenchanted with humanity. Yeah.